Greetings, fellow animal enthusiasts, and welcome to another episode of The Story of Animals. Today, we're diving into the captivating world of the moa, a remarkable bird that once roamed the lush forests and grasslands of Aotearoa, or New Zealand. This giant flightless bird holds a significant place in Maori culture, folklore, and the ecological history of New Zealand. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on this journey together as we unravel the life, extinction, and enduring legacy of the moa. The moa, known scientifically as Dinornithiformes, was a flightless bird endemic to New Zealand. It belonged to a group of large red tights which also includes ostriches and emus. Moa were unique in that they were among the largest birds to have ever existed, with some species standing up to 3.6 meters or about 12 feet tall and weighing over 230 kilograms, which is around 500 pounds. Several species of moa existed, with the most well-known being the giant moa, or Dinornis robustus, the eastern moa or Megalapteryx didinus, and the South Island moa, or Pachyornis australis. Their adaptations to the New Zealand environment allowed them to thrive in a variety of habitats, from dense forests to open grasslands. Moa had long, slender necks and stout legs, which were well suited for browsing on leaves, fruits, and shrubs. Their beaks were adapted for stripping foliage, and they lacked wings, a trait that made them unable to fly. Instead, they relied on their impressive size and speed to evade predators, particularly the now extinct Hast's Eagle, or Harpagornis more, which hunted them. Now, let's talk about the Maori, the indigenous people of Aotearoa, AKA New Zealand. The Maori culture is rich with history, tradition, and a deep connection to the land and its wildlife. When the Maori arrived in New Zealand around 1280 AD, they found a thriving ecosystem teeming with unique wildlife, including the moa. The moa were not just a food source. They held a significant cultural value for the Maori. Their feathers were used in ceremonial dress and their bones were crafted into tools and ornaments. The birds were a vital part of the Maori diet, providing sustenance in the form of meat. They were hunted and consumed during feasts, celebrated in songs and stories. In Maori oral tradition, the moa has become a powerful symbol of loss and change. One well-known story is of the Tua, or Prostemadera Novaeselandiae, and the moa where the Tua bird is said to have sung the praises of the moa, celebrating its majestic presence in the forest. However, as hunting increased, the Tua lamented the decline of its giant friend. This tale highlights the bond between the two species and serves as a reminder of the fragility of life in the ecosystem. So, how did the moa come to face extinction? The extinction of the moa is a complex topic that intertwines ecological and cultural factors. While exact dates are debated, it's believed that the larger moa probably became extinct by the end of the 17th century, while a few smaller species may have survived into the 19th. The primary causes of extinction were overhunting and habitat destruction. As Maori settled in New Zealand, they relied heavily on the moa for food. The giant bird size made it a prime target for hunters, and the methods used by Maori were quite effective. Along with hunting, the introduction of fire to clear land for agriculture led to the destruction of the moa's natural habitat. However, the impact of colonization by Europeans in the 18th and 19th centuries exacerbated the situation. European settlers brought new species of animals and plants, further disrupting the delicate balance of New Zealand's ecosystems. The combination of overhunting, habitat destruction, and ecological disruption 
led to the eventual extinction of all moa species. Moa were not just another species lost. Their extinction rippled through the ecosystem. Many predators and scavengers that relied on the moa as a food source also faced declines. The loss of this large herbivore changed the dynamics of the ecosystem, influencing everything from plant growth to the species that thrived in the absence of the moa. Now that we've covered the facts surrounding the moa, let's dive into some Maori myths that celebrate this remarkable bird. One intriguing legend is the story of Maui and the moa. In this tale, the demigod Maui, yes, that Maui, known for his cleverness and trickery, sought to capture the elusive moa to provide food for his people. Maui set out with a plan to use his magical powers. He transformed himself into a small bird, hoping to attract the moa. When he finally encountered one, he praised its beauty and strength, luring the giant bird closer. However, as the moa approached, it quickly realized that Maui was trying to trap it. In a twist of fate, the moa used its size and strength to escape teaching Maui a valuable lesson about respect for nature and the importance of balance in the ecosystem. Another popular tale revolves around Ruaumoko, the god of earthquakes and volcanoes, who is said to have created the Moa to be a protector of the forests. According to this myth, Ruaumoko gifted the Moa with strength and resilience, allowing it to thrive in the wild. However, when the moa began to be hunted excessively, Ruaumoko felt betrayed and withdrew his protection, leading to the bird's demise. This story serves as a reminder of the consequences of disrespecting nature. These myths illustrate the deep connection Maori had with the moa, not only as a source of sustenance, but as a symbol of strength, resilience, and the balance of nature. While the moa may be gone, its legacy lives on in Maori culture and the natural world of New Zealand. The stories, the songs, and the memories of this majestic bird are passed down through generations. The extinction of the moa is not merely a tale of loss. It serves as a powerful reminder of the interconnectedness of life and the importance of conservation efforts to protect the unique wildlife that remains in Aotearoa. In modern times, the Amoa has become a symbol of conservation and the need to respect and protect New Zealand's biodiversity. Efforts to revive and protect native species continue to be paramount, ensuring that the stories of the past remain relevant today. As we wrap up our exploration of the Moa, Let's take a moment to remember this incredible creature. The moa was not just a bird. It was a part of Aotearoa's cultural heritage and an essential thread in the tapestry of Maori stories. Though it has vanished from our world, the memory of the moa lives on, inspiring us to cherish the wildlife we have today and to strive for a future where all creatures can thrive. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the past. Be sure to subscribe to the story of animals for more fascinating tales from the animal kingdom. Until next time, remember that while some animals may be gone, their stories and lessons are never forgotten.